like many people, I am a fan of the Cornetto trilogy, and it occurred to me recently that I hadn't reviewed The World's End for no reason other than I just never got around to doing it. And then it also occurred to me that I hadn't seen it in quite a while, whereas I've seen Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz multiple times. I'd only seen this one once. So I decided to revisit it, and my opinion remains what it was then, and that is the fact that I liked it, but I think it's the weakest of the three. That's not to say it's a bad film. One of them has to be the weakest, and for me, this has to be this one. Although I was quite delighted to revisit it because I learned that uh, Thomas Law actually played the younger version of Simon Pegg's character, Gary, which at the time, that completely bypassed me. So that was a nice... Um, discovery if you like the film was released in 2013 it's directed by edgar wright of course written by wright and simon pegg and we have simon pegg and nick frost playing gary and andy we also have martin freeman rosamund pike thomas law as i said a really great strong cast um some other people as well some kind of big names that i won't mention as i feel part of the fun is wondering who's going to pop up next and there are a couple of big names in this one of course, if you don't want to know, head to IMDb or the video description, though the information will be in the description. The narrative is quite simple, and it's actually the use of flashbacks that I like. Well, they're kind of flashbacks. They're very creatively done. We have these five friends who decide that they are going to recreate a pub crawl that they did about two decades ago, because it was an epic pub crawl, and... They want to relive it, understandably, but a lot of things have changed, both with them as people, with the pubs themselves. It's not going to be as straightforward as they might have seemed. Now, the whole pub aspect of it doesn't interest me. I'm not a pub goer. I'm not a drinker. So I wasn't really sure how much I'd gel with it, if at all. But because it's so creative, so fantastically edited and so beautifully done that it is so engaging and so compelling that from start to finish... I just couldn't take my eyes off of it. And obviously, with it being part of the Cornetto trilogy, there are mysterious things happening that I won't go into too much detail about because that's part of the fun. But that aspect of it was secondary to me. And I feel like it's the most apparent in Shaun of the Dead. And then I think Hot Fuzz, it's kind of... Kind of, obviously, it's the main point of the narrative, but this one, I feel like it's taking a back seat. As I said, I feel like it's the weakest of the three, but that's just based on my enjoyment. I actually think it might be better edited and a better narrative than Hot Fuzz, but I just have a soft spot for Hot Fuzz. So for me, if I had to rank them, it would be Hot Fuzz, Shaun of the Dead, and then The World's End. But I think they're all very good, very effective, very engaging. If you haven't seen it, do watch it, but I'd say watch them in order. Um, you don't necessarily have to, but I think it's just better to enjoy them that way. But certainly, if you haven't seen it, it's definitely a film that will captivate you, regardless of what you're watching it for, whether it's for the narrative or the, you know, the, the cinematography or the acting. I think it's one that will hold you captive for the entire journey. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm glad that I revisited it. As I said, it's not my favourite in the trilogy, but there's definitely a lot going for it.